South Korea and Japan held defense talks in Seoul. During the rare bilateral meeting, Japan's defense chief vowed Tokyo would abide by international law when considering troop deployment to Korea if war breaks out. But according to Kim Hyun-bin, some experts fear there are loopholes. South Korea's defense minister Han min koo and his Japanese counterpart Jen Nakataki met on Tuesday to discuss bilateral defense cooperation against North Korean threats and other matters of regional security. Defense chiefs from Korea and Japan exchanged views on security issues, including policies regarding Japan's new security legislation that was passed in September. Han reaffirmed the stance that Japan needs prior approval from Seoul before deploying any Japanese forces to the Korean Peninsula. Nakatani agreed Tokyo would abide by international law, which requires prior consent or a request from the country in question to dispatch troops abroad. But experts say under international law, Japan does not have to gain Seoul's consent to send its troops to North Korea if war breaks out. Korea believes Japan needs to gain prior consent from Seoul in case of war on the Korean Peninsula, as North Korea is considered South Korean territory under the constitutional law. But under international law, North Korea is a separate country, so Japan doesn't need Seoul's consent to dispatch troops north of the border during wartime. Experts say Seoul and Tokyo have been in tug of war for decades regarding the involvement of Japanese troops on the peninsula. And it's not likely to end, as many Koreans continue to stand against such a presence since the country suffered under Japanese colonial rule from 1910 to 1945. Kim Hyun-bin, Arirang News.